Just steps away from Shorty's, in the heart of Stockyard City, stands a grand monument to the Western way of life. You'll meet the cowboy sculptor who created it just ahead. Cattle drives, cowboys, Indians, and horses. Where do you get your ideas? I've been around horses all my life. The American West has inspired the art of Harold Holden. That's about it. Since he was old enough to pick up a pencil. This one's makeshift shade. You actually saw that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and this one's early childhood development. Age 81 when we met. If you ever raise colts, that's the way you halter break them. Put a rope and a halter on your colt and let him drag that around. You know, oh. Step on it, step on it. It'll teach him to be able to lead. Holden, better known to friends as simply H, remains amazingly prolific even after a lung transplant at the age of 69. I was down to 135 pounds and maybe a week to live. His new lungs were working good as new ever since the hospital sent him home, and the longtime team roper made good use of his second chance at life. We went to the bar and drank a few beers, and we went out and started roping. The only thing that keeps him off a horse these days is a bad back, but that's not slowing down his art. H was working on a monumental-sized buffalo sculpture this is what he's going to look like. When we visited his home studio, he shares outside Enid, Oklahoma, with his wife, Edna May. It's just called Buffalo Point. That's the name of the place where it's going. Buffalo have been a subject for H more than once over the years. This one greets visitors to the Oklahoma History Museum. It's among some two dozen monumental sculptures H has created, including this one of Will Rogers, outside the Oklahoma City Airport that bears his name. Well, making it was kind of fun, really. Holden's hometown of Enid hosts a series of historical monuments commemorating the Oklahoma land rush. That's kind of the same character. And its early pioneers. It's all part of the continuous story. Yeah. Boomer and Old McLean and Homestead. H was working on two more monuments when we stopped by. A commission of famed NFL and Oklahoma State running back Barry Sanders. Greatest running back ever. And another work for OSU that's more typical of Holden's subject matter, OSU mascot Pistol Pete. Yeah, Frank Eaton was his real name. A legendary Old West cowboy, lawman, and gunfighter who lived to be 97, a man H actually knew as a boy. But he and this cowboy friend of mine they had a stagecoach back then, and they get in that stagecoach, and I think they were tipping the whiskey quite a bit, you know, having a good time. Your dad's saddle. Holden's dad was a horseman, and horses have forever been part of his life. That's a great painting. That's why I wanted to be an artist. Was, that was my subject matter. But his father died in a plane crash when H was just six years old. We just kind of kept those horses that, that were there when he died, and... I raised uh, running horses for a long time. That lifelong work experience with horses has given Holden a reputation for realistic authenticity. And those who know horses can quickly spot when something's not right. When they see something, say, that's, God, that's not right. That horse's leg doesn't bend like that. And of course, you go to look at a Remington bronze and the, some of his legs, like a foreleg, cannot go past horizontal. But they'll have them up like this. You know? oh. And I think Remington knew better, but he, he did it for effect. A Navy veteran and graduate of the Texas Academy of Art, this famous sculptor actually began his career as a painter and an illustrator for a Houston horse magazine. But the cowboy soon tired of the big city rat race, and a show of his work at a doctor's house back home in Oklahoma launched his career. And I had my paintings in it, and maybe a sculpt, couple sculptures or something, and it went over pretty good. And so I just kept, kept at it. It all worked out, especially after he married his wife, Edna May, a couple who are a bit like the legendary Western artist Charlie Russell and his wife, Nancy. Like Nancy, Edna May handles the business end. These are like the sketch of a sculpture. Mm -hmm. So H can focus on creating and avoid trading his art for drinks, as Charlie once did. <laughs> no, no I, but I do have a bunch of prints down at the old... Frisco bar down there. I used to trade for my barbio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just, I think that it's been such a gift for me to be married to him 
because of what he does because we've traveled all over the country we've gone to great ranches we've met great people we've become friends with people that ordinarily i don't know that we would have if it weren't for his art you know going to the cowboy hall going to the autry going you know on these different events so it's, it's been a lot of fun so you got hired to do the monument for a conference center mm -hmm. dedicated in 1987 boomer was holden's first monumental sized sculpture a project that was a major learning curve. Is that a major challenge to do your first monument? Yes, I learned everything on that deal. And I didn't make much money learning either. <laughs> a commission soon followed from the National Ranching Heritage Center to create the Rancher, both monument size and a mockette that is the group's annual Golden Spur Award given to the Rancher of the Year. Gradually, Got some customers and just kept working at it. Didn't get rich, but I was doing what I wanted to do. His work today is prized by collectors and institutions across the country. H always says that the house catches on fire. This is the thing to grab. The Holden home and home studio are a bit like an art museum, filled with his own work and artist friends he's traded with over the years. All these bits up there I traded for. Some of them I designed. Just this one here, you know, got my brand on it. This very humble cowboy has received a very long list of honors and awards, including membership in the National Sculpture Society, the prestigious Cowboy Artists of America, and induction into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame, plus top honors at the biggest Western art shows in the country. Well, when I look at it, I'm just uh, the peon in the, with the big boys. <laughs> When I look at some of those guys, those painters, and gee, now sculpting, I think I can do, you know, fairly good work. To, but the, some of those painters, gee, they're just so good. And the end of the trail is nowhere in sight. Hopefully, I don't want to be to where I can't do anything. I, if I can't hardly do anything anymore, I think I'll get on that horse to get me his bronc and get on. Get bucks off and that's it. <laughs>